represent major European powers during the Reformation of the 1500s, selling equipment to adventurers to build buildings in these little tetra shapes for the astronauts on a deadly mission. I just gotta set up the components. This is based on real history. This is a game for two to six players. This game's pretty simple and I've played it a bunch, so I'll just teach it as we go. We're not allowed to communicate about what's in our hands. Because in space, no one can hear you scream. Um, the cards are just similar colors and I don't wanna mix them up. Each turn has seven phases, except the first turn, which has nine phases, starting with the 95 theses, which were nailed to the church door in 1517. Each player is dealt four item cards face down from the top of the item deck. That's this. The commander is randomly determined each round, because, you know, they wouldn't have sent us on this mission if we weren't all equally qualified to lead. Okay, so you're gonna pick a resource and we all have to put that on our boards. You can choose from wheat, brick, wood, blue, or gray. Now we roll on the Henry's Wives pregnancy chart, making sure to add the plus one bonus for Jane Seymour. Then if the monster has received a number of wound tokens equal to or greater than the total number of players. Okay. You can only use your radio token once per round. We're in space. We have to conserve battery usage. Oh, you can't put that there. No, you have to put the buildings in one of the spaces that the cubes were occupying. I said that, right? Deadly event cards, mystery cards, beast cards. Um, this is gonna be fun. The powers can each perform the following actions. Move a formation in the clear. Move a formation over a pass. Place it in the center of the table with the other heroes. Wait, why don't you have a monument card? Assault if you sieged on the previous impulse. No one has a monument card? The rocket cards are trump cards, because we're astronauts. I need to explain monuments. Buy a mercenary, unless you are the Ottomans. Instead, they can raise cavalry and initiate piracy. Oh, you can't do that. You can only build a monument once. We just talked about monuments, didn't I say that? Explore, colonize, conquer. Oh, um, yeah, you probably have time to go to the bathroom. The numbers on the cards represent, um, build St. Peter's Cathedral, burn books, publish a treatise. I don't know, it's just a really good game. Can we just play it? I'm like trying really hard here. It's all listed here on this handy reference card. The player with the highest total score wins. Oh, I forgot to say that empty spaces on your board are negative one point. So your score is actually eight and mine's 32. First event card of the game. We starve to death. Everyone's dead. All right, that's the whole rule book. So let's start playing. And good news, we're playing the short version of the game which starts in 1532, so it should only take us six to eight hours. <music> Mythic Games is a sponsor of Things Get Dicey. They make games that have rule books that you can read and teach to your friends. I do recommend reading and learning before you try teaching to your friends though. Just a tip from me. 